you, Jamie. I appreciate the introduction. Very excited to be presenting here today. It's an honor. Hopefully you can see my slides. I know we're doing it live here in Edmonton office again, so we got the delay, but we have it going on the big screen. Got an amazing audience right in front of me. So let's get right into it. Jamie asked what my topic should be, and I knew right away it was the power of setting goals. And what qualifies me for to talk about this is what you just saw, right? Talking about that trip. That was a goal that I set, and I'm going to tell you that story here momentarily. But first, let's talk a little bit about the, the stats behind setting goals. So we all know that setting goals is important. However, the general population shows us that only 83% of people, they don't even have any goals. They don't have any plans. They're just going throughout life. 14% have plans, but not in writing. Can you guess how many people actually have goals? Only 3%. 3% have goals and they're written down. Isn't that crazy? So let's take a look at what that looks like. Those 83% that don't have any goals, if you just have those goals now in your head, you're 10 times more likely to be successful. But if you take it a step further and actually write those goals down, now you're in that 3% and you're 30 times more likely to have success. Does anybody out there want to increase their odds of success by 30 times? I know I sure do. It's really simple. It starts with a written goal. So now I want to share a little bit about my story. What this is, what you're looking at, can anybody guess where this is? It's the Dreams Playa Majores Resort in Mexico. And I chose this picture. I went on the website and chose this picture specifically because there's two chairs, one for Karen, my wife, one for myself, looking out over the beautiful ocean. This was my desktop picture for all of last year. It actually still is today. Soon as Jamie announced the, the trip contest, that was the first thing I did was Google this resort, find the picture that I liked the most, which was this one here, and I put it on the desktop of my screen, on my computer. So every time I turn on my computer, I see this picture. That's the power of setting a goal, making a visual. Can anybody guess what this is? The home screen on my phone. The lock screen, another picture that spoke to me. Same thing. That's that beautiful resort that we're going to be going to. But that's not it. I didn't stop there. I took it a step further. I actually blocked the time off in my calendar. Last year, act as if you're going to be there. I knew I was going to be there. I didn't know how. I just, I just felt it in my heart. And God willing, we're able to make it happen. So I actually had this time blocked off. As you can see, Sunday, April 30th, till Friday, May 5th. So I knew I was going. But that's not the whole story. We didn't know we were going to go. In <laughs> fact, we thought that we missed it. We thought that we fell short because we finished as the number two agency, not the number one agency. But thanks to Kevin and Pam Purnell working hard through the Christmas break, <laughs> earning their SED promotion. Well, full disclosure, I was taking the time off with my beautiful little family because I was good with it. We did everything we could, and I had my hat off to them. So I was the first one to message Kevin and Pam and congratulate them on being number one, on earning that trip. And we went back and forth all year long. They pulled ahead. I was ahead. Our team was ahead. They pulled ahead, back and forth. But I was the first to congratulate them. And because of that, we got rewarded. And I'm so thankful to this company and so thankful that I took the time to set that goal, set that intention, and then, most importantly, take action. So when should I start setting goals? I think right now. I don't think it's ever too early. 
I want to share one more quick little story with you. Many of you know my five-year-old son, Parker. Get this. This is going to blow your mind. I come home last year, and this kid has taken the time. He's taken the time, as you can see, to go through catalogs, cut out pictures of the things he wants, glue them onto posters. He created six different posters of the things that he wants. Like he created a vision board, not even knowing that he created a vision board. Five years old. setting his goals. The crazy part is I didn't tell him to do this, but I couldn't be more proud of him. So remember this, my last two slides here in closing. It's never too late to focus on your dreams. I don't care if you're here and you're 20, 30, 50, 70, 80 years old. We have one guy on our team that's 82 years old that just got started with us. It's never too late to focus on your dreams. So dream big, set goals, but most importantly, take action. Take action now. Don't wait. Because it's not going to happen if you don't set those goals and take action. And you've heard many people talk about it, but always, always remember your why. And we all know my why. Thank you, everyone.